Hollywood Hot Seat brought to you by Carpet One, Coleman Street, Belleville, the one store for your perfect floor. Montreal Rockers Arcade Fire were the big winners at the 40th anniversary Juno Award celebration last night. The Indie Rockers won a total of four trophies, including Album of the Year during the weekend of awards. Toronto-born rock legend Neil Young won two trophies and delivered a touching speech as he accepted an award for his years of the community service. Country superstar Shania Twain also received a special honor. She was inducted into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. Justin Bieber won his two first two career Junos for Pop Album of the Year and Fan Choice Award. But leading nominee Drake didn't do so well as he hosted the show but left the weekend without a single award. Yes. A wimpy kid is showing his muscles at your local multiplex. The latest installment of Diary of a Wimpy Kid opened at number one over the weekend. The girl power action fantasy Sucker Punch opened in number two while Limitless slipped to third. Reese Witherspoon has walked down the aisle. A spokesperson for the actress says the Walk the Line star wed her fiancé, Hollywood agent Jim Toth, in California. Publicist uh, Nicole Perna did not reveal details about the Saturday ceremony. Tributes continue to pour in for Roger Abbott, one of the funny founding fathers of the Royal Canadian Air Force. Comedian Sean Majunder says Abbott was considered a national icon. And Don Ferguson, Abbott's Air Force partner, says Abbott had a wicked wit and sense of humor both on and off screen. He died Saturday in a Toronto hospital. He was 64. The judge presiding over the trial for Michael Jackson's doctor is worried that 147 people won't be enough to seat a jury. Uh, the judge says many of the 147 who said they could spare the time for a two-month trial could be eliminated because of their views on issues related to the trial. Only three people in the first jury, jury pool had said they hadn't heard of the case. Where have they been yeah, living? No kidding. Murray had Dr. Conrad Murray has pleaded not guilty to involuntary manslaughter and Jackson's death. Where did they bust those three people <laughs> in from? I'm sure. <laughs> For actor Steven Seagal's reality TV show Lawman on A&E, the Arizona sheriff, Joe Arpaio, allowed him to accompany a raid on the home of a Phoenix man suspected of hosting cockfighting. The SWAT team rolled in, led by Seagal, in an army tank. The perp was easily arrested as he was alone and unarmed. His attorney claims the -the over-the-top bus cost the sheriff's department tens of thousands of dollars. Steven Seagal has an ongoing agreement to accompany sheriff's deputies on further raids. Natalie Portman's Black Swan body double claims the Oscar-winning actress performed less than 5% of the ballet moves in the movie. Professional ballerina Sarah Lane says producers wanted to create the idea that Natalie was some kind of prodigy who worked extremely hard to make herself a ballerina in only a year and a half. The truth, she says, is that CGI was used to superimpose Natalie's head on footage of herself performing the intricate dance sequences. I'm shocked. And last year, 48-year-old rocker and TV personality Brett Michaels nearly died of a brain hemorrhage, and now he's claiming it was due to an injury he suffered six months previously during his 2009 performance at the Tony Awards. He has filed a lawsuit against Tony Award Productions, CBS, and others for unspecified damages. In the complaint, he contends producers did not instruct him how to properly exit the stage, resulting in him being smacked in the head by a piece of set. You need MapQuest to get off the stage? Yeah. Celebrating a birthday today, you share this date with actress model Shannon Mochler is 36 today. Julia Stiles is 30 and Lady Gaga is 25. That's the Hollywood Hot Seat brought to you by Carpet One and Quinny's Greatest Hits, 95.5 Hits FM.